Okay, so uh, this part, 09, I gotta do uh, add. So right now I just have basics, very basic evolving initialization of just the instance and the device, so which is uh, not really basically doesn't allow me to do much at all. So and very little feedback. The only feedback I get is uh, from like uh, the returns, VK results, returns from calls. What I want to be able to do is there are a whole bunch of uh, validation layers. off turn this debug and I want to get that validation information basically print it out to uh, logs anyways uh, so to begin with I need to do 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 a version environment add a thing that says hey you know boolean Validation. So I can turn it on and off whenever, basically. Go back to environment. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Let me open this up. VK spec, VK spec, where are you? Guy, the case back. So I want to go to debug utilities report callbacks. Here we go. Debug report callbacks. So it's creating one. It's creation. Hmm. There should be somewhere in here. This. I gotta make something along the lines of this. Whoop, da, da. Whoop. Close that up. Uh, Vulcan message. Backs. What this is going to do is like Vulcan, when I attach a or give it a certain function. It'll basically be calling this function, which will be this signature. And it'll basically provide a bunch of information back. So flags, um, or not quite this one, actually. This is still creation, right? No, no, that looks, must be it then. Yeah, it'll provide a whole bunch of information back. That can then convert into a uh, string message of some sort. I'm pretty sure anyways. You know what? Actually, I just... Um, some core. Uh, UK. That's the actual function. I don't know why this has got like an extra instance. Right, well, we're just gonna copy this. Paste it in here. Get it a little bit easier. Uh, we're gonna have a uh, graphics log. Which will be, um, you know, a log just for uh, graphics things from uh, oh, log where okay hold on I did ls file commands oh I need to restart to get it for Clangy to be able to save it all oh, right ah I hit don't save didn't I great job me. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. We'll also have
Really? Yeah, she still can't. All right. Log fold, declare log category. that in. Can I just uh, show sidebar, shrink that down a little bit more, expand that a little bit more, that. Um, oh yes, because I I need to actually set as a link library. All right, then it'll find the headers at least. Um, that's because I haven't finished this at all. Okay. Get to that later. First of all, we want the actual. Uh... <sighs> okay. I'm going to have to actually go back and have a look at. The types. VK debug report object type. Hmm. Where's the flag? So there we go. So flags and VK. We'll start with error. Bit flag comparison. Then we want to do a full log. To the graphics log, it'll be an error in this case. Um, this first thing is like a P layer prefix. Then we're going to have the message code. And then P message. Message code. So the layer code that and then the message. And basically be like this, but instead this will be warning. Then we got information. Debug and performance, yeah, okay. Information. 
I'll put for perform ah, I'll put performance from warning under the warning flag as well. Debug is under debug. Returns VK false, I believe. Because VK true would mean leaving early. Don't want to do that, right? Which is interrupted, interpreted in a layer specified manner. Application should always return false. True is for reserved for something later. Okay. Really? Do I not have debug? I thought I did. No, I, it's verbose. Okay. Okay, now we need to instantiate, we need to get it part of the initialization. So bool validation. Hmm. It's attached to instances, right? Yeah, create, yeah. Hmm. And it has to be attached afterwards. Uh, debug. Hmm. Port call back. Create info XT. Really, type debug report create info. Report, no, report callback. Um, just all of them, I guess. Hmm. Let's just have them all. Is there like an all flag? Okay, we'll just have them all for the moment. We'll 
was the last one? The function of the callback, which is this, it's a static as well. And then it's res equals create debug callback. And I need an object to put it in to be part of P environment. Now, presume if I have to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay. Now in the environment, in the engine, we'll have to set it to be, first of all, make sure it doesn't. Oh, good, uh, freaking. Going to have to kill it. Right. H top. Sometimes on SOS, code just becomes unresponsive. I got to go ahead and kill it. No, 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 no. Okay, let's try that. There we go, got it. We'll start up a new instance right over here. Okay, uh, that was hang false. I was going to test on engine. 
structure run doesn't quite build yet. Why? Undefined reference. Because they're extensions, I have to pull them in, don't I? Okay. Um. Ah, uh, function pointer, create, debug, port, basically this, but with vpfp instead, equals, okay, get instance clock address. instance and the name of the function is that that also probably means we're going to actually require um dang yeah we're going to have to add this extension to the instance extension list. Okay, we do that. Then if validation. Right? Yeah. Um Okay, ext. Mm. There's got to be a name somewhere. Or we can just go to this file and find it. That. Okay. Constructor star. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Uh, back down here, we get this, and then we're going to call this instead. Um, And that cannot be used as a function. Why not? Or is it? Oh, because it's already a pointer. 
Yeah, now I got to do it for the uh, same thing for the other one. Okay, uh, let's see if that runs. Yes, it does. Let's switch it to true and debug check in to here. Validation true, extensions is currently two. Well, the third one added. Yep, yep. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever. Validation true. We create it. We get a res for success. And there's a whole bunch of uh, messages coming through. Including verbose ones. Hmm. Okay, maybe not quite want all of them. Um, do we want error? That or Performance warning, just regular warning. Was this information? This is verbose. Verbose was the debug bit. I just want, okay. Failed to find whatever this is. That's fine. This will be taken out eventually. Okay, so that's the least validation. That's it. Uh, actually, that's not it. Putting it on main, I do not want to do that. Put it in there. Okay, sorry.
Um, actually, no. Pull that back out. Uh, I'm not returning for bad result, am I? That's better. Okay, window. <clears throat> I mean, I already have a window, but what I need is the base is to be, create the context of the environment for Vulcan to display to this window. Because right now it's just an empty window that accepts mouse and keyboard inputs and resizing commands and stuff like that. But I need to actually start being able to attach a surface into onto that window. Which means I'm going to need to delve into the WSI stuff. Do the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, not this stuff. But this stuff down here. Hmm. Okay, there's two sets of these things, two types. Surface capabilities two, and hmm. Okay. In order to do any of this, I need to have
Okay. Uh, okay, so we have the we have the GLFW window. We just need to create the Vulcan surface. So VK surface KHR. GLFW create, yeah, so there, yeah. I need the instance. So P graphics. Environment instance. Need a window. Hmm. Let's try this a little bit differently, shall we? Um, include. Vulcan stuff is starting to appear in here. Not great. Okay, let's see if we can WSI like this instead. In a slightly separate. It's up here, move it down. Okay, save that up as well. So back here we have this, we are going to call as equals for window get UK surface.
Okay. Do that. We'll make sure it's actually going to do that. Not quite. Something was not declared in this scope. Oh, it's a heavy train. I can feel it through the floor. Okay, uh, get Vulcan extensions. Why not? Oh, yes, because it's now this. That. Res is successful. So now we have a surface, which is that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, nope. that. Uh, and then we're going to want an instance, which is what was used to create the surface. Hmm. Very strange. Uh, what was this? VK window data. Star P data. I presume it's a VK destroy surface that instance. That is no. All right, that's one part of it. Where is it? There it is. Saw something for swap chain. This is basically the back and front buffer kind of deal. Okay, let's find how we create this in the first place. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of crap. Hmm. But we need the surface and the device. Oh. 
Jack Environment D. And the swap chain. Is VK swap chain THR, yeah. Okay. Start with that. Surface. Then we have the minimum in image count. Um, let's do formats and color space first. So. How do we get formats? Um, okay. It's like a surface format. Yes, there is. Ah, image format must match format and color space members of one of the structures returned. So wherever this is, we need to get the physical device formats. Okay. Now I presume this will be a list. Okay. device surface formats and we have the graphics element. physical device okay window dot surface and we get the count uh, come on no, 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 no. And that'll be null pointer, so we can get the number first. Then we create Start with, just leave with the basics for now. And 
And then we do the same thing. So we pass this in. Equals uh, nothing for the moment. Equals surface. I choose the first one. Uh, what was the other one? What was the other thing? Let's just put this here. Um, uh, color space format and color space are from the same thing. Present mode. Info present mode. There we go. What are you? Are you like an enum? You're you're an enum of some sort. You're. It doesn't even matter what you are. And it doesn't matter what you are either. Okay. Very similar deal. Except instead of that, it's present modes. Do this. Dot an image count to I don't know. as maybe just color really wouldn't it
Let's pre transform image sharing mode. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Just leave this out. Do we even need it? Yeah, move it over. It's a slightly better read. VK. Create swap chain. Scroll on down to this. Pre transform. Relative to the presentation's engines and natural orientation. Posit alpha present mode. Wait, hold on. Which extent? Many layers, usage, sharing mode. Uh, family index count is only required if its sharing mode is concurrent. So we don't need that. Does leave uh, dot pre transform equals I presume it's identity, I'm not doing anything crazy yet. Um, okay, back to this. Present mode. I imagine my dot composite. We'll just say it's opaque. Composite alpha. So it's when it's displaying, if it's opaque, it just replaces instead of doing like an alpha would be like a, almost a flashbang effect from Counter Strike. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. And clipped. Present mode clip. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's clipped to the window instead of also doing stuff outside the window. So let's actually try to make it. See what goes wrong. Oh, some real bad stuff goes wrong. Okay, cute. The surface, min inch count, color space, extent. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> uh, great. Blockchain CI is real. This is a real device. What is um, image format is 
no, regular 32 bit. It's sRGB, I guess. Sharing mode. Um, present mode is immediate. Okay. Hmm. Can I change up the environment to actually give us even more information back out? So I'm also going to get information, right? And the debug information. Hey, no, it doesn't give me anything. Nice. I can't even go inside of it. Okay, let's see. Um, get physical device surface. Um, surface capabilities. So we got the physical device. going to have the surface and then we need one of these let's we'll see what comes back out <clears throat> Oh, nope. I want this. Uh, minimum image count is three, so that's probably it. I Wait, three? I need a th minimum of three images to display onto this. And the max is zero. I presume that means unlimited. Uh, minimum image extent, maximum, yeah, okay. Current extent, yeah. Max support transforms is one, which I believe is what this value is. Yeah. And nine, which does, okay. Nope. Oh, this is hmm, painful. Do I require, I have the um, extensions for the instance. Do I require them for the device as well? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, that's probably going to be why I got such a wrench. It's so right now. Device CI. No, just the one, just the one. Okay, 
page our swap chain extension name Create info. It's pp that enabled extension count, enabled extensions. Yeah, that was it. I just didn't have, <clears throat> didn't have the device extension. So now it's created. I presume the swap chain is pointed somewhere. I'm going to have to. So what? I, now I'm going to have to start uh, kind of putting all this a little bit together. Like, hmm. I probably need to be able to get the images out, like the VK image views. Do I need them? I'll need them to render to. Render from, probably. Hmm. Okay, let's actually go back to environment. Let's get rid of this. Don't need it. It's already a bit of a mess. Okay, well, let's at least be able to destroy it. If, okay, so that's the surface. The device, need the swap chain. Okay, and then if I was to remove this, it's not even complaining about the swap chain. Interesting. I would have expected it to. All right. the basics I'll go on and call it here what well, it's been an hour 12 okay I got the basics and I'm going to do some offline research to see what I what precisely I need to do next all right